In this video, I continue with fractions. But in the, instead of looking at fractions as, say, parts to a whole, we're going to look at fractions as ratios of one thing to another. So here we have a problem. Suppose that 100 tickets are sold at a raffle, and 16 prizes will be awarded, and no ticket may win more than once. Find out the following. And so as we look at this, we need to understand as fractions as ratios and how they look. And so very typically, you will see uh, questions like this, and they'll say something to something or something per something. And what they're doing is they're comparing two things in a ratio format. And so the way it's compared is top to bottom. This is the format. And so if we were to look at the ratio, of, say take part A, the ratio of winning tickets. Okay, 16 prizes will be awarded. No ticket may win more than once. That means you're going to have 16 winning tickets. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take those 16, that's your number of winning tickets. Part A, I have 16 winners. That's on top. But I'm looking at total tickets, and I have 100 tickets. And so my ratio of winning tickets to total tickets is 16 to 100, or 16 one hundredths. Part B works the same way. The only difference we have, to, we have to worry about here is that it's the ratio of losing tickets to total tickets. In that case, if we have 16 winning tickets, we started out with 100. 16, 1. And so when we subtract those, we get 84 lost. In that case, well, our losing tickets number is 84. And so we have 84 losing tickets, unfortunately. And the ratio of that of losing tickets to total tickets is 84 to 100. That's part B. Part C, let me scroll down just, well, I'll do it over here to the side so I don't have to scroll. Part C asks the ratio of winning tickets to losing tickets. Well, winning tickets to losing, winning goes on top, and we know that 16 of them won. But on the bottom, we don't put 100, we're looking for losing tickets. We found that here. And so we have 84. Incidentally, if you've ever worked with probability, Part A and Part B work with the probability of winning and losing. Part C works with the odds of winning. And the difference between probability and odds is that the odds look the odds compare winning to losing rather than winning to the total amount. Ah, learn a little something. Good. They're all fractions. They all work the same.